Hi everyone, this is Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey. In the midst of your mistake, in the midst of your valley, in the midst of destruction, in the midst of your sickness, God can make you well and make you whole like that rose is, like these tulips, like this beautiful plant right here. God can make all crooked paths straight. Be blessed and hold on to God's unchanging hand. God is in our midst. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey back again with Life is Beautiful MD and Life is Beautiful Ministries. Welcome back to our channel where two or three are gathered. He is in our midst and we just want to thank God for being so awesome to us, for allowing us to be in the land of the living. We're six feet above ground. Even though I had some dreams the other night and he brought me below and showed me some beautiful flowers in some beautiful valleys that are growing and rising up. I just thank God for you. I just thank God that you're here. He brought me through a whole lot in the past two weeks. I was in different places. Every night I went to sleep. I was in different places. I went to homes where I saw husband having or being in an abusive relationship with their wives and the wives seem like they're lost and not knowing what to do, but God is in the midst. It's like I was walking through different places and everywhere I went, there was darkness. But by the time I left, there was light. And it was so amazing to me that the last, the last video that I did, we were singing, I sang Jackie Velasquez, there's power when I'm on my knees. So I'm encouraging you to get on your knees and pray. Sometimes it seems like when we get on our knees, things seem worse, but no, they will get better. God brought me to different places. He brought me to like the back ends of some beaches, like some houses at the back of some beaches. And it's dark back there, a lot of darkness. But wherever God shows up, light follows. So although you seem like nothing is happening, just pray until the light break through. Just continue to pray, continue to call on God. I said a lot in that first video, and it's like, it's okay, God knows. He knows, he's watching, he's listening. And remember when I told you that 96 year old lady said, she said, whenever you're going through anything, all you need to say, God help me, Jesus help me. God help me, Jesus help me. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. No matter what is it that you're going through, just invite God in the situation and all the crooked paths are gonna become straight and all the broken pieces are gonna get mended back together. Continue to reach out to him. Do not let go of God because he's not gonna let go of you. I'm going to read Psalm 23 for you. And if you need to read this, if this needs to be your fast for the beginning of this year, let it be. If you need to read Psalm 23 until you memorize it, read it until you memorize it. God is with you. And if God is for you, nothing or no one can come against you. And when we try to do things of God, like when Daniel, when he decided he wasn't going to pray to the false God, and he was going to pray to his God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they threw Daniel in the lion's den. Even though the king didn't want Daniel to be thrown in the lion's den, Daniel had to be thrown in the lion's den for God to prevail and God to show that he is God. And when they threw Daniel in the lion's den, the lions could not eat him. And the next morning when the king ran downstairs to see what had happened to Daniel and saw that Daniel was in the lion's den, alive and well, and God had closed the jaws of the lion and they did not eat Daniel. The king had to allow the entire, the enti his entire kingdom to pray to Daniel's God. So you just keep praying to that same God, that same God with those three Hebrew boys who refused, refused to bow down to false idols, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they chose to hold on to God and they were tossed in the fiery furnace, but they were not consumed. Keep holding on to that same God. That same God that brought you into what you've been through and brought you out again, he will do it again. 
He's the God of, he's the, he's the way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He's a light in the darkness. And like I said, he's moving in your midst. He's, he's pushing every bad things out and allowing all the good things to come in. So just trust God. And remember Psalm 23. It says, Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No evil. Because why? God is with me. Thy rod and his staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me, God, in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in God's house forever. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is Psalm 23. If you need to read it for the entire month of January until January is finished in February, you read it until you memorize it. God is an awesome God. And he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it. I got up today and I decided I was just going to sing praise and worship. So we have a barrage of songs coming your way. And this is all I'm going to do. I just want you to sing and praise and worship with me because God is an awesome God. And no matter what is it that you're going through, weeping may endure for night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm going to sing a few songs with you and I just want you to sing and praise and worship with me and worship an awesome God because God is an awesome God. And no matter what you're going through, it's only for a moment. But God's treasures are for a lifetime. And he loves you and he cares about you. And no matter what is it that you're going through, continue to look up. Look up. Look to the hills from his coming to your help. God is an awesome God. And no matter what you're going through, he's going to make all the crooked paths straight. He's going to make that illness, whatever it is, he's going to fix it. And he's going to make it right. Whatever is going on in your marriage, whatever is going on with your children, whatever is going on on your job, whatever is going on in your house, in your home, just put it to Jesus and expect a miracle and God will give it to you. He who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it. May God bless, keep, and cover you. May you enjoy these songs with me and may you just continue to lift up God and worship him with me because you and one God is a majority. You and one God is a majority. And you and millions of people in this world is a minority. The road to destruction is very wide, but the road to lead into God's heaven is very narrow. But you put God first, and he will add everything else unto you. Be blessed, be safe, be covered. I love you with the love of the Lord, and no matter what you're going through, just keep calling on him. Just keep calling on him. Just keep calling on him. And he will see you through. Be blessed. Be safe. I love you with the love of the Lord. This is Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey. Your life is beautiful MD and life is beautiful ministries. Take care. Bye-bye. I love you.
Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. God is our way maker. He's our miracle worker. He's our promise keeper. He's our light in the darkness. That's just who he is. Let us continue to put him first in everything that we do. And he will add everything else unto us. Thanks for watching. Please like subscribe and share blessings always god bless keep and cover you thank you take care bye bye